NC State heads to Wake Forest. ACC battle. Of course, uh, this one 1 p.m. Central Time on the CW. That's right. Uh, Wake Forest is a two and a half point home dog here. Total of 43 and a half. And the numbers say that NC State should be favored by seven and a half for the full season. That NC State defense has really gotten it going. Number 13, PPA per drive allowed. Uh, Wake Forest really does nothing well on offense, at least for the full season, right? Now, I know some of you are going to talk about, hey, um, what is the issue here? Like, MJ Morris decided he's going to redshirt. You go back and you look at MJ Morris's numbers, he has not been that good. I know that he's got three wins in really big games, but he wasn't great in those games. Okay, throwing interceptions, didn't really have many tur- like touchdowns. Like it's I think they won based on their defense, not so much because of MJ Morris. I, he might have been a calming presence, but let's not go crazy. I don't I don't downgrade NC State a bunch just based on losing MJ Morris. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm uh I'm I'm a little surprised uh at how much the line moved based on MJ Morris, right? Uh so full season NC State by seven and a half. Now over the past four weeks, NC State by more than ten. The offense still number one thirteen PPA per drive over the past four weeks. Yeah. Like, it is that bad. That's that's the past four weeks. That's only MJ Morris' plan. So, why are they favored by this much? Well, because, my God, Wake Forest's offense is terrible. Number 95 PPA per pass going against NC State's number 10 ranked defense. And Wake Forest number 119 PPA per rush going against the number 46 PPA per rush defense. I, you go and you look at the other side, yeah, if... If NC State decides that they just want to run the ball, which they over the past four weeks they've not been good at, so they haven't done it all that much. Um, but Wake Forest defense is actually pretty good there. Uh, you, you've got a massive turnover advantage for NC State. You've got a, a big-time penalties per game advantage for Wake Forest. Uh, but when you start looking at five factors and all that, like it's, it's pretty obvious that NC State should be favored here, even on the road. And I know... NC State on the road is hardly ever a good bet. But that's what I'm going to do because this Wake Forest team is bad. So give me NC State. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.